Hi, welcome to Cadence Labs. Today we're going to be demoing our latest PCI Express Gen 5 by IP in silicon. Uh, what you're going to see here is our latest PCI Express apps card and the chip in the middle contains our full PCI Express Gen 5 subsystem, which includes our 32 gig NRZ5, as well as our PCI Express Gen 5 by controller. This subsystem will be interopping with Intel-based Gen 5 server, as well as we'll be showing in the other lab, PCI Express compliance with respect to TX and RX for Gen 5. Our PCI Express Gen 5 Phi is our latest architecture, which enhanced our TX and RX architectures used in past generations of our CERTES, as well as integrated our Tensilica microcontroller into the architecture, adding significant system performance and margin. As you can see here, we have our PCIe Gen 5 subsystem IP on a Cadence Apps Board. The Apps Board provides the power for the IP and in this demonstration emulates an endpoint. The interrupt test will be run on a BY8 implementation. The host being used is the Intel Gen 5 server platform. We are currently plugged into the PCI chem slot on the server and are ready to link up. As can be seen from our graphical user interface, we are currently at Gen 5 in L0 state. The iSurf feature on our IP is non-destructive and is running live during mission mode traffic. Finally, it can be seen from the link status on the server that we have linked up to Gen 5 by 8. This concludes this demonstration. Let's move on to the next one. In this demonstration, we will interrupt with the VRV Gen 5 exerciser and show the link performance of our IP. This is the VRV exerciser GUI, and as you can see, we are currently at Gen 1 by 8. I will now try to link up to Gen 5 by 8. From the screen, it's now clear that we are linked up at Gen 5 by 8, and we have no recoveries and no errors. From the count of the update FC packets, it can be seen that there's currently traffic ongoing between the exerciser and the endpoint, which is our IP. Next, we would like to show you a trace of successfully linking up at Gen 5 through all the Gen speeds. From the trace, you can see we have negotiated from Gen 1 to Gen 3 to Gen 4 and then finally to Gen 5. Our IP also supports the Gen 5 high rate EQ feature, which permits the link to transition directly from Gen 1 to Gen 5. From the trace, you can see that the high rate EQ is being sent in the packets from our IP. And you can see that we have linked up from Gen 1 to Gen 5 directly. In this setup, we have the PCIe Gen 5 apps board connected to the Keysight BERT using a Tektronix compliance base board and an external ISI trace board. The Keysight BERT has been calibrated to PCIe Gen 5 specification using Valoframe software. As can be seen, we have linked up from Gen 1 to Gen 5, going through all the equalization phases, and from the BERT error count, we are currently running error-free. The graph on top shows the jitter tolerance result and from that, you can see we have significant margin over the entire swept SJ range. Next, we will run the RX LEQ using value frame. And from the result, you can see that we are running error free for the duration that the test was run and we are passing the test. The final demonstration shows the output of our TX without de embedding on the Keysight UXR scope with a data rate at 32 gigabits per second. This concludes our demonstration of our 32 gig PCIe Gen 5 IP.